Drawn Army and IRGC destroy aggressive targets by indigenous air defense shields during joint drills. The Islamic Republic of Iran Army and Islamic Revolution Guard Corps forces have exercised destruction of hypothetical enemy targets in high and mid altitudes by allied homemade 3rd of Khordad and Khordad 15 air defense systems during the joint aerial war games on Wednesday, reported the IRGC run Fars News. The forces have started joint aerial war games codenamed Modafaane Asemane Velayat 99 meaning Guardians of Velayat Sky 99. In the first phase of the drills, the expansion and deployment of defense systems including missile, radar and defense systems with emphasis on the mobility and rapid response of operational forces as well as the principles of passive defense to deceive the enemy was carried out. In the next stage, a secure and multi-layered connection has been established between the defense systems and the country's integrated air defense network to make response to relevant threats. Fars News quoted the spokesman of the war games General Abbas Farajpur. In the joint drills, Iran Army and IRGC officers will exercise side by side fighting actual threats in the Joint Operations Command headquarters under the operational guidance and control of the country's air defense base and the direct supervision of assessors and observers of Khatam Al Anbiya air defense base, added the general. The joint war game started on Wednesday in a region as large as half of Iran's area under the operational command and control of Khatam Al Anbiya air defense base in a warlock situation. General Fadrashpur said that deployment of Fakur and Ashura tactic, command and control systems, indigenous radar systems, including Muraqib, Fatah 2, and Bashir, tactical information and reconnaissance systems, electro optical systems, electronic warfare system, and optical surveillance network of the Army Air Defense Force is among other measures in the war games. Different types of homemade missile systems, radar, reconnaissance, electronic warfare and communication systems as well as optical surveillance network of the Army and the IRGC will exercise confrontation against air threats at low, medium and high altitude and long range targets in fully operational conditions in an actual combat scenario under the operational command and control of the country's air defense base and direct supervision of experts and evaluators of Khatam Al Anbiya headquarters, he added. In the exercise, the Army Air Force will be stretch arm of the country's air defense in the sky by flying all kinds of interceptor and bomber fighter jets as well as drones and will play two separate offensive and defensive roles. Express Lieutenant Commander of Khatam Al Anbiya Air Defense Base, Bridgester, General Qader Rahimzadeh. For the first time, the forces use a new generation of completely indigenous equipment and weapons in the drills, and test fresh air defense tactics developed as a result of continuous monitoring of the enemy's inaction in a warlike situation, he added. At the stage of dummy drills, hypothetical enemy drones try to disrupt the air defense's radars function by jamming to test their sustainability and capability to continue operation in electronic warfare conditions. Further, the Army forces successfully carried out electronic jamming operations on the aggressive drones to prevent their flying over the drill zone. In recent years, Iran has conducted major military drills to enhance the defense capabilities of its armed forces and test modern military tactics and state-of-the-art equipment said the IRGC-affiliated agency.